all the incredible work you've done <laughs> in the music much. business. Yeah, pretty much. We'll focus on One Republic and the new album, which I know you did most of the tracks on the road. Yeah. How did that influence did the music? Uh, I, it does have an influence. I mean, we did one song called Future Looks Good. We recorded the day after the day after Rock and Rio in Sao Paulo, and we used local musicians. So you can feel it. So it's song by song. You know, certain songs I could tell you we did it in London. It has a, a British feel to it. Some were done in California. They have a sunny kind of feel to it. It influences it for sure. Did you have a favorite artist that you or guest that you brought on that oh was God. fun to work with? Well, this album we had Santa Gold. We had Cassius. Um, nice. But the the coup d'état was Peter Gabriel. Uh, ah. Yeah. I, he didn't really do features. I met him last summer in London. We started talking, had tea, and and dinner, and that turned into a collaboration. He's like, wow. I, I sent him a couple songs and said, if you like any of these, please. And I, I didn't expect to hear back. And he wrote back and said, I love this song AI. I'd like to write. What does he do? Does he so sing major. on them? He said, yeah. He wrote the second verse. He wrote this entire oh, cool. gorgeous, very Peter Gabriel, so us sounding outro, and then he sings the whole second verse. Yeah. Ten years together, One Republic, what makes the magic here? Why does it work? I think that we're still having fun. I mean, all we're, this album, Oh My My, is, is literally 18 months of us having fun around the world. You can hear it. If you're not having fun, especially if you're doing something creative like music or writing, it's time to hang it up. And we're still along fun. so well, too. Yeah, you know, we've yeah. all seen the behind the music yeah. where the bands start to fight, and it's like, <laughs> yeah. after the break, the drugs broke them up. Like, <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, you know, never had those problems. I will after tell the you. break, they play Monopoly. Right. right. <laughs> yeah, drugs, drugs, always a bad idea, kids. Bad idea. You guys mm -hmm. have just done such a good job. Yeah. Don't date each other's uh, yeah. significant yes. others. Never right. works That's out. Right. Never works out. Never works out. It seems like a good idea at the time it always backfires right the <laughs> fleetwood mac rules yes, yeah we yeah. know that exactly you work obviously as we saw in that piece with so many other artists give us just a little bit on some of them and what that process is like we'll start with taylor swift uh taylor is taylor taylor brings more overall skill sets to a uh, writing session than anyone i've worked with um she's she's a machine in the best way possible she walks in she has an idea of the song she wants to do the night before you walk in sit down hey how's it going all right let's she's go hit conscious yeah. is she, she thinking is, of she is of hook She's not sitting around thinking, is this a hit, is it not? It's in her DNA. No, I, I don't know any writers that really think that way. Wow. I don't sit down and go, okay, Counting Stars is going to be a hit. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. you, we don't think in algorithms. You're hoping for it, but oh, you're hoping yeah. for it. You're just kind of, whatever, you, whatever I took in over decades of listening to music is what I put out. And Taylor's the same way, but she walks in and just bangs out a song. Top down, you walk out with a finished record, which Beyonce is very rare. Beyonce and Adele sound that they would be similar. They're they're actually quite different. Beyonce, really? Beyonce, um, Beyonce's super lyrics intensive. So the song you can tell by you know her yeah. last couple records, if the lyric is in her life, she's off it. Adele mm -hmm. same way, wow. she's off. But Adele also, if she wasn't Adele the singer, she'd be Adele the songwriter. She'd be one of the best writers in the world. Let's wow. hurt tonight is from the uh, Collateral Beauty yes. film. Tell me about that. Oh my God, I I went and screened this movie. Um, I'm not a crier. People know me. I'm not a big crier. I cried the better part of two hours, both joy and sadness. Um, Will Smith, Ed Norton, Helen Mirren, Keira Knightley, you know, uh, Michael Pena, on and on. One of the greatest casts I've so seen in a movie. So it's in a small indie film. It, yeah, it's a small <laughs> indie film. It comes, out, it comes out Christmas Day. I saw the movie. They said, do you, do you have an idea of what you could do, uh, you know, adapt one of your songs for this? We did an adaptation, did a bunch of back and forth with the director, and we ended up with Let's Hurt Tonight in this film. Mm -hmm. And it's... Like my Is favorite moment of the year. Hear that song. And I, I, that song? I saw your. Um, yeah, you are going to sing the song, right? Yes, later? that's yes. what you're going to do. I, yes. I, I saw your, tonight. your spot with Willie Geist, and you cooked lunch yeah. for everybody. He yeah. was raving about how good your cooking skills are. I also started a fire. <laughs> oh. So I, I used <laughs> I Wagyu. You're joking about All that. He didn't say the smoke. Fire. Fire. No, I started a fire, yeah. yeah. I want to thank Ryan very much. He got that new song coming up yes. in just a few minutes. Hello, today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.